Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2023 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12 box picker team number 9 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got another one almost in single digits, so go ahead and check that out. Very big thanks everybody here on a Chew Tuesday, the 19th of September. It's two days after my birthday and Michael's birthday as well. Big thanks everybody here for getting on the action. How do you feel today, Michael? A lot better than this. A lot better than me too. Me too. Got a got a good amount of rest yesterday. Went to bed somewhat early-ish. Enjoyed a, an adult beverage and pass out. All right. So good luck, everybody. Duncan saying, also read earlier that Alec Manoa is basically a write-off. Drop to double A, right. Toys out the pram, hasn't shown up, and he's still signed with him. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's uh, what, what do they, what do they call it? Down tools, Duncan, right? That's, that's what, what you guys call it. He, he downed tools. It'll be interesting to see what uh, there has to be something else with uh, with Alec Manoa. There has to be another side to this story. This is just very very mysterious. He goes from an All Star pitcher last year, Cy Young candidate, I want to say as well. I think he got some votes, um, and then. Just, just had a complete opposite type of like he had a, not even just a down season. You can, you can understand that, but the a complete opposite of a down, the worst season you could possibly have after one of the best seasons he's poss could possibly have. So does not uh, does not appear to have made any changes to his body. He's not lost a ton of weight or he's not gained a ton of weight. They have found no injuries, you know, so something else is happening, you got to think, you know, which is all just speculation, but I guess we're in the business of speculating, right? I mean, it could, it could be a mental issue, just pressure to, to repeat what he did last season and it's trying to do too much. Just maybe just a mental yips maybe. The yips could be a thing, some kind of yip situation. You know, there's a possibility that, uh, you know, lost con maybe a personal struggle. Here's Richie Palacios to 499. These uh, international World Baseball Classic cards will go to the team that he is currently on. Our shipping team will handle all of that. Because if everything else is okay physically, then it's hard not to turn to what's going on mentally for him. There's Wickelman Gonzalez, Bowman first autograph for the Red Sox, Raymond. It's kind of wild. So I don't know, maybe, maybe he'll get traded somewhere. Maybe someone will attempt a reclamation project. Sterling Thompson, Invicta, Casey Schmidt for the Giants. That's to 499. That'll be for Mark Bissett. Yeah, Gonzalez could go. To, could use Jaspi's autograph camp. That's for sure. Here's a Brandon. Uh, Maya is one of the kind of top names we're looking for. His Bowman first, and we got a we've got an orange shimmer autograph. Nice little color match for the O's. That's Anderson De Los Santos. 
And that's going to go to Mark and the Orioles. Very nice. Number 30, Orioles prospect according to Baseball America. 10 out of 25. Very nice. Congrats. Got some more color coming up. There's Jose Gerardo, 47 out of 99. And that'll go to the fish. That'll be for Stephen Carney. Yeah, like All right, and next box. Well, it's a good time to go through some... I guess we'll start with some baseball news because in Otani, has, uh, who has been shut down for the season, which is a, a blow not even only for him and the Angels and Otani fans, but also... Joe Jaspi's fantasy team. I was in the playoffs, leading the playoffs, and now I don't think it's gonna, not looking very good. But Otani has an elbow procedure and is set to just hit in 2024. But I think he, him, or through his agent, or maybe he said it, he definitely is looking to pitch later on in 2025. I don't know what, in what capacity, but I've mentioned, I've mentioned this before in years past, and I'll say it again. I think it'd be interesting to see Otani as a uh, as a closer. Rex, what's going on? How are you? Yeah, fantasy football has been a little rough injury-wise as well. An injured Trout still accompanies the Angels on a road trip. Marlins claim more off waivers to aid the playoff hunt. Wins his Correa with his foot to be reassessed Friday. Marlon scratching MLB leading hitter Luis Arias with an ankle issue. Oh, this is a bit of news here. The, the Tampa Bay Rays, they okayed a new ballpark in St. Petersburg. I was, you, you know my position on this. I've always said, hey, they gotta move it across the bay. They gotta put that, they gotta put that right next to where the Lightning are playing. We've got a Fall League relic here, right where the Buccaneers are playing. But no, they're going to stay in St. Petersburg. They got a huge plot of land that they're attempting to, they're attempting to just re, uh, redevelop. All right, the relic is Andy Pius. Nice, 66 out of 150. Rising prospect, rising star for my Dodgers. So, I don't know, we'll see. But here's the other interesting tidbit. Now, Rob Manfred has always said, the MLB commissioner, has long said that uh, once the stadium issues for Oakland, for the A's, and for the Rays settle, you know, are settled, then they can start thinking about expansion. Here's uh, Exil Plaz. That's going to go to the Buckos. That'll be for Brian and the Pirates. We'll do a uh, autograph and hit recap at the end. And nice, Josh Young Bowman Ascension. That's a one per case situation there. There's the Michael Bush refractor to 499 for Mark. 77 out of 499. And who's got the Rangers? Mark also has the Rangers. Same Mark. Nice. Sometimes these can be autographed. There's a Roman Anthony gold shimmer. 50 out of 50. Last one ever made. That will be for Raymond and the Red Sox. We've got Yeniel Lavoie. For the Oakland A's, Purple Chrome autograph going to Tristan. That is 144 out of 250, Tristan. Nice little box here. Uh, got a Jackson Merrill. We got a Tamar Johnson. 111 out of 199. 
And the Pirates' fourth overall pick back in 2022. Very nice one of Pirates' future stars. next box so yeah so with the Rays new stadium that does and once that's all locked in and the A's are obviously locked in for the most part right in uh, in Las Vegas so yeah according to the Associated Press the playoff bound Rays put the finishing touches Tuesday on plan for a new 30,000 seat ballpark which is kind of small but that might, that might be a nice intimate stadium could get loud if it's full a little bit bigger than a basketball arena as part of a huge $6.5 billion development project that includes affordable housing, retail, bars, restaurant, Black History Museum, and obviously the ballpark itself. The site is on the same 86-acre tract of downtown land where Tropicana Field is now. That a domed, oddly tilted ballpark, I didn't realize it was tilted, will be demolished once the new one is built in time for opening day 2028. So a little ways from now, but the plan still has some political hurdles on funding and approval to clear. And then, yeah, they're going to be in St. Petersburg for the foreseeable future, despite constant talk of the team moving across the Bay to Tampa, possibly to Nashville, or even split home games with Montreal. That, that idea was shot down by Major League Baseball. So um, that's pretty exciting. And new stadium, new retail area, that'll, that'll get people to, to drive all the way out there. Let's see. I am a, I do fancy myself an amateur baseball stadium, uh, stadium architect. The new ballpark, this part's interesting to me, will cost about $1.3 billion, with roughly half of that coming from the Rays and half from the city and county governments. The structure will have a fixed roof, which makes sense in rainy, hot Florida, but it will be low profile with doors and windows on the sides that can open to fresh air during cooler months. Interesting. It will have the smallest capacity in Major League Baseball. Having that roof is necessary, but you want to create intimacy as well. It's pretty nice. I mean, it'll be scary with the way the Rays can develop players. If they can also start spending money, that would be kind of scary. I wonder. Then you start. Then you got to start thinking. There's Jazz Chisholm refractor from Miami to four ninety nine. They're a perennial playoff team. There's Leonardo Bernal. Do they add like, do they add an Otani or do they try to chase after Otani? Hey, you'll be around when we open a new stadium. The house that Otani built in Tampa Bay. That could be, that, that would be, that would be a pitch. Sebastian Walcott, his Bowman first. Rainer Arias, blue to 150. More Sebastian Walcott. And we've got an Angels auto to 299. That's Dario Laverde. 256 out of 299. Speckle autograph going to Dennis and the Angels, who won that team in the Phillies. Matt Mervis for the Cubs to 499. Now what's interesting about the Walcotts is that that's one of the bigger names to chase for the Ranger first off, but he doesn't have autos in this set. So therefore, his, uh, his Bowman first and any perils that we may run into might get a little extra boost in value. And I, I, just, like, I just like his swag there too. I, I, like, I like the vibe that he's, that he's given off there. the box. Wait, which dude got you uh, into the... Would love what? Sorry, Duncan. The dude that got you into, into Major League Baseball in the first place? So the other stuff in that tank, going back to that Tampa Bay baseball stadium, 
The other stuff is that it'll include more than 6,000 new apartments and condominiums. Would it be cool living near a baseball stadium? I, think so. I would think so. Or if you're a retiree, you just walk over to the stadium. Off, there'll be office space, retail space, hotel, Black History Museum. The goal is to break ground in the second half of 2024. According to someone from the... Oh, your friend of mine's a huge race fan. Got it, yeah. Well, that, that could be... Uh, now, it might be worth visiting <laughs> now. Now there's a bright, shiny new stadium. We do that in a... And if, especially if Shohei is there. But it looks like a... What is this? Either a city person or... No. A Rays co-president Matt Silverman says, quote, it's more than just a baseball team that calls it, calls it home. The stadium question has hung over the franchise for decades. We're creating a new neighborhood. That's good. I feel like housing is always an issue around the country, so it'd be nice that they're actually not just making just a giant parking lot, but, but including some housing there as well. I don't know if there's anything really, no other really big baseball news happening. I think people are just waiting. We're just waiting to see who's going to, you know, the, who, where the playoff situation is going to settle. There's Roman Anthony. We'll go through the standings in the next one. I'm ripping the next box. We got Roman Anthony for the Red Sox. That's for Raymond. There you go, Duncan. Yeah, save up for a trip to the U.S. in 2028. And on the way back, you can stop by Jaspies in California. Fly all the way to Tampa Bay. That's a long flight. I don't know if there's any direct flights to Tampa Bay, but there's... Out of 199, Luis Arias from Australia. Aqua Ray Wave. That's going to go to the fish, Stephen Carney. But you can go all the way to Tampa Bay and then work back to Los Angeles. There's 200 out of 499. Luis Perales, another Red Sox. And that, uh, that's for uh, Raymond. I don't know, who knows? In 2028, Jaspies may be in a bigger location. All right, well, there's Brian Rocchio for Cleveland. This is for you. To 499, that'll be for Mark N and the Guardians. And there's Ethan Salas. This is the name that we're, we're looking for in terms of parallels. Autographs would be nice. Low numbered autos. That's for uh, Rob and the Padres. Last spot, Mojo. And we've got Kenny Gomez. Bowman first autograph for the Astros. Zach with the Strohs won that team in the filler. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so you'd have to come through LA again anyway. Yeah, pop by. The only day we're not open, I mean, we can talk about it later when the time comes. The only day we're not open is Sundays. Who knows, by 2028, we may have Sunday hours. All right, so Orioles clinched a playoff spot. Rays clinched a playoff spot. Yankees, Red Sox not officially eliminated. Uh, in the AL Central, Twins, Guardians, Detroit. Twins haven't locked up anything yet, but Chicago White Sox and the Royals have officially been eliminated. Angels, A's have officially been eliminated. Nothing decided in the division just yet. It's still pretty tight. Rangers and Mariners are behind the Astros by one and a half games. Uh, the Atlanta Braves have clinched the division outright. I think Rays and Orioles are, have clinched playoff berths, but not the division yet. Actually, the Dodgers and Braves are the only ones who have clinched their divisions. So, I guess it's just a matter of course, 
for the Twins to eventually clinch their division. They're seven games ahead of the Guardians. Um, like I said, Astros, Rangers, Mariners are all pretty tight there. Uh, again, Rangers, Mariners only a one and a half games back. No one wants to win it though. Astros have lost four, have only won four of their last ten. Rangers on a four-game losing streak. I guess we're we're sick. Had a, we're on a six-game winning streak. Looks like before they lost four in a row. They're six of their last won six of their last ten. And the Mariners only won three of their last ten. No, no one's really no one wants to run away with that division just yet. In the NL Central, Brewers have pulled away a little bit. They're six for their last six wins in their last ten. Cubs are on a five-game losing streak. Two of their only two wins in the last ten. Two and eight in the last ten games. Reds are also six games back. They're six and four in their last ten games. Dodgers are 14 games ahead of the Diamondbacks. They have they clinched the division pretty easily. Rockies are officially eliminated. So we'll look at the wild card standings in the next when I rip the next box and we'll kind of go through that. But we're kind of at the stage of the season where we just wanna we just wanna see how uh, how the wild card brackets kind of lay out. There's Feline Celestin, nice. 17 out of 50, that's a nice one for Sean Maddock in Seattle. It's one of the bigger names here. And then Josver Zulueta, Zulueta going to Eugene and the Blue Jays won that team in the filler. Sure. Well, actually, I, I work on Sundays. The schedule may change, but I'm off Friday, Saturday. Carve out some time. Let's All right. I'm an adult beverage or two. Carter Young to 299. Speckle for Mark Bissett and the Orioles. And we got a Yu Chang. Got a Corbin Carroll rookie. Another Sebastian Walcott for Texas. Mark Bissett with that. Yu Chang is Guardians, I think. No, he was on the Guardians. He's currently on the Red Sox. And has been since last year. So that'll go to the Red Sox, go to the teams that they're currently on. That'll be for Raymond. It's 413 out of 499. We got a Kevin Iru, 60 out of 1 at 99. And a gold autograph for Minnesota, Ariel Castro. Got the little uh, cardboard dust out of there. That is for Sean Maddock and the Twins, won that team in the filler. No one wanted them straight up. Could have gotten a gold auto. Wow, joined the Twins at 16. Rated as number 11 prospect in that 2023 international class. Nice. All right, another box. After this box, we'll be halfway through the break. Let's take a look at the uh, wild card races. Let's hydrate a little bit here. So Tampa Bay, who does have a playoff berth, just it'll just we'll just have to see whether they're going to uh, which wild card spot they're going to get. I guess they're only two and a half back of the Orioles, so there's still a chance they could win the division as well. But one way or the other, they're guaranteed a playoff spot. They're probably actually, they're, what, eight and a half games ahead of the Blue Jays, so I don't think they're going to lose that top wild card spot. So it's either division or top wild card spot for them. Blue Jays are in the second wild card spot. They're a game ahead of a couple teams. So 
that's still going to be a tight race to the finish for that third and final wild card spot. Um, the Rangers and Mariners are currently tied for the third wild card spot. And they could potentially sneak into the second wild card spot. Yankees are the next closest at six games back, unless, unless they make a run and a, a team ahead of them just S is the bed, then the Yankees, I guess, do have a shot. So do the Red Sox at seven and a half back. I don't leave the Guardians at 10 and a half back, but they're still mathematically in it. So are the Tigers at 12 back. They're still mathematically in it. Take a look at the NL in the next box, which is much more of a nail biter, I think. All right, there's Drew Gilbert to 75. That's for the Astros. That's for Zach Gwynn. There's our first autograph. That's Juan Benjamin for the Guardians. That will be for Mark N. Nejbauer with that one. Cleveland, this is for you. That's Mark with a K. Nice, so he batted 300 in the Complex League. Started hitting right away at Lynchburg. Almost two years younger than everybody else that he was playing with. We got Gio Urshela to 499. He's currently with the Angels. And our second autograph is Yoanda Rivero. Bowman first auto for the Nats. That's going to go to Eugene, who won that team in the filler. There's Michael Bush for my Dodgers and Zach Neto for the Anaheim Angels just down the freeway. Dennis with the Angels. And Mark Bissett, Mark with a C with the Dodgers. 499. There's an Ethan Salas. And we are officially at the halfway point of the break. We got six boxes to go in this 12 box break. Clear off the table here a little bit. So there are the final six boxes all on your camera right here. You can see it there, top camera as well. About another 30 minutes to go, good luck everybody. So the NL wild card race is wild. Phillies should, should hang on to that first, that top wild card spot. They're four games ahead of everybody else of the second position. So I feel like that number one spot for the third. But now spots two and three, the second and third wild card spot, that's gonna be crazy. The Diamondbacks will only have a half game on the Cubs and Reds for that second wild card spot. So it goes Diamondbacks, half game ahead. Cubs, Reds are tied for the third wild card spot. And the Marlins are only two games behind the third wild card, or Mar Mars only half game behind the wild card spot. The Giants are only two games behind the wild card spot. And the Padres might even be in shouting distance, five and a half games back of a wild card spot, and they've won five games in a row, seven and three in their last ten. Diamondbacks have won three in a row; they're six and four in their last ten. Cubs have lost five in a row, two and eight in the last ten. It almost sounded like they were going to win the division at one point, but Brewers got hot, Cubs got cold. So division looking out of reach, but the wild card spot still in reach. Cardinals, six and four in their last 10. Marlins, even, five and five in their last 10. Giants are six and four in their last 10 games. So there are 
Diamondback, basically Diamondbacks, Cubs, Reds, Marlins. Half a game splits is the, is the difference, which is, or a game is the difference between Marlins and Diamond, which is, which is crazy. So it's gonna go right down to the wire between the Diamondbacks, Cubs, Reds, and Marlins. And with four teams involved, it's almost hard to figure out the math on who needs to lose when. And I guess if you're a fan of one team, you want all the other teams to just lose and your team to win. And that would make things easy. There's Davidson De Los Santos to 125 for the Snakes. Got some green, Riley Green, green. Name match, name color match. 79 out of 99. That'll go to Detroit. That'll be for Shane. We got an Ethan Salas. I feel like we're getting closer to a parallel. That's what Rob's hoping for. He's got Last Bob Mojo on it. Got half the case to make that dream come true. Here is a Padre, though. Eddie Beltre for the Padres. And that's going to go to Rob. Last Bob Mojo. 70% of the time hits 100% of the time. There you go. Batted 314 in August. Can seal the base a little bit here. Five tool player with lefty upside. So on and so forth. And raised in the same Dominican Republic, uh, Dominican Republic hometown as Big Bobby, David Ortiz, Pujols, and Juan Soto. So a city with some pedigree. Town with some Major League Baseball pedigree. myself out there. Tamar Johnson Shimmer, those aren't numbered by the way. New question, I see the marriage ranger tied up. What happens in that situation? Um, well, I don't think that happens very often first off, ties. There's Clark Elliott with the A's. I want to say they changed the rules recently. There's Clark Elliott refractor autograph. Does anyone else know in the chat? I think it's a one game playoff. I think that happened with the Dodgers and Rockies a number of years ago, maybe four, four or five years ago. They were tied up and they had to play a one game, uh, a one game tiebreaker. But it doesn't happen too often. But I don't know if, if there's a tie for a wild card spot. I don't think there is an extra game though. If there's a tie in the division, I think there is an extra game. A wild card tie, I don't know what they go by. I mean, that might be a head to head record first or something like that. And if the head-to-head -head record is the same, maybe division record, or they, there's, a, there's a series of tiebreakers, I think, for, for the wild card spot. But if it's a division tie, then I think that is a one-game playoff. All right, baseball scores for the day. Uh, yeah. The to top three. Yeah, you know, Ranger, Rangers have kind of a hot and cold team, but when they're hot, they can get really hot. So it's the division winners will get playoff berths, and the next three teams with the best record, non-division winners, will be, will be in the wild card system section. So I think the division winners, the Two of the, so there's three divisions in each league, AL, NL. So I think the two division winners with the better records get a bye. So they don't have to play that first weekend. And then the division winner with the worst overall record has to play 
the worst of the wild card teams or something like that, the third spot, and then te seeds one and two, I think, play against each other, and then those teams move on. And then that's a recent rule, so I'm not super sharp on that. There's uh, a Don Sanchez, 250, but I guess it's time, as it gets closer to the playoffs, that, that will be explained on all the sports networks ad nauseum, I, I would say. Steve, what's going on? How are you? So Don Sanchez, 250, Purple Chrome for the Cubs. Tim with that one. Tim Trout, must be Mike's brother. There's Eduardo Escobar to 499. And is that, in the, is that an autograph? It is. Ooh, I thought that might have been someone else, but still nice. Six out of 25. Orange Shimmer, Spence Kaufman for the Padres. Rob with that one. Last spot mojo. Here you go. Rated number 14 Mississippi High School player in the class of 2022. Fluid, strong arm defender at a premium position, shortstop. We like seeing that. Covers 60 yards in 6.45 seconds. Nice. A lot of travel. That's good. Anywhere fun? For pleasure or for work? Good to see it. Got another orange, Luis Serna, 15 out of 25. True orange for the Yanks. That's going to be for Dan. I know, Rob. I, I was just like, is that going to be... Still have a lot of boxes to go. Here's a Gavin Cross, orange shimmer, 23 out of 25. A lot of orange in this. I like it. And there's our second autograph. Juan Olmos. Always work, I do. I was hoping that maybe you gave some time for yourself, Steve. Swan Olmos. Nephew of longtime Royal Scott Rafael Miranda. Headliner of the team's 2022 international signing class, rated 25th overall by MLB. That's not bad. Royals. That goes to Nancy, who won that team in the filler. I feel like we talked about that last week. That you were going to be in Pittsburgh, your first trip to PNC. Did you go to, so you went to the park? Was it nice? That, that's definitely a ballpark that I want to check out now you're in Maryland. All right, quick scoreboard update. Um, let's scroll up the scoreboard here. A lot of games in progress. Yeah, I got to visit that. Visit that stadium someday. Uh, top of the eighth, Angels and Rays tied at two. Top of the seventh. Twins currently shutting out the Reds for nothing. Reds have only managed two hits thus far. Marlins at the end of the seventh, leading the Mets three to one. In the bottom of the seventh, two outs in the bottom of the seventh, Nationals are leading the White Sox four to two. Is that, a, I don't know if that's a game of consequence. I think Angels Rays not, I guess a game of consequence for the Rays. They. Twins Reds, it's a game of consequence for both teams. Twins want to lock up the division. Reds uh, need that wild card spot. Marlins are also in the playoff mix. They're up 3 1. White Sox and Nationals are not. Not a game of consequence. Blue Jays and Yankees are still mathematically in it. Blue Jays definitely, Yankees trying to, but they're down 4 1 to the Blue Jays in New York, bottom of the sixth. New York fans cannot be happy about that. Uh, Braves have locked up their division, and they're up 7-0 on the Phillies. And uh, looks like Spencer Strider working on a one-hitter. Five innings through five, one hit, no earned runs, nine strikeouts. And I think the road to the World Series is going to go through Atlanta. Um, Royals are up 4-0 on the Guardians in the bottom of the fourth in Kansas City. Pirates and Cubs in a rain delay. I don't think they've even started the game. I don't know if that game's even going to happen. What time is it? It's already almost 9 o'clock on the... No, it's in it's in Chicago, so it's on... It's, I guess it's 8 o'clock. They can wait a little bit. It's almost 8 o'clock. Uh, Brewers are in St. Louis. 
Brewers are up 3-2. I think they're still trying to work on locking up the NL Central. Top of the third, Rangers are leading the Red Sox early 1-0. Top of the third, Orioles at Astros. They're tied at twos. All right, next box. Chase Young. That's to 499. Detroit. That's going to be for Shane. Some have suggested that Jace could be better than his brother Josh, which would be, which would be good. So Steve's saying top five now of modern parks, Comerica, Camden, PNC, AT&T, and Petco. It's a good top five. There's the Angelo Sarmiento, Aqua, to 125 for the Mets. That'll be for Eugene. In that order, or in no particular order? There's Bajay Cook. Let Bajay Cook. That's going to be for Tristan and the Athletics. Yeah, I went to school, went to university down in San Diego, so. Yeah, I do, I do like Petco. San Diego, great city. There's Davis and De Los Santos to 250, purple chrome. That was Alfredo Duno, 202 out of 150. MLB Pipeline's number four rated prospect in that class, so someone to look out for, Frank and the Reds. Yeah, Duncan's like, it'd be good for me if Jace uh, is better than Josh. He got a dual auto from the Tigers. Oh, from that three and two break, nice. Yeah, let's hope so. 001 out of 150, Leonardo Bernal for the Cardinals. Eugene won that team in the filler. And getting autos. That's why you just get your team straight up. Even the not so popular teams could end up getting some nice hits. That in, okay. That you've been to in no particular order, says Steve, for stadiums. Yeah, I always, I always, uh, I'm always waiting for the day. I'm not, I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm always waiting for the day that the national uh, card convention that we that we go to most of the time. Um, that it, it's been to, it's been in Baltimore before, and I'm hoping that it, it will someday maybe cycle back to Baltimore at some point. Because I think the convention center is near Camden, so if the or Orioles are in town, it'd be a good excuse to go see a game there. Um, games that have not started just yet. Mariners are in Oakland. Mariners looking for the division or a wild card spot, something like that. Giants are in Arizona. Arizona looking for a wild card spot as well. Rockies are in San Diego, speaking of Petco. Padres are a little further back in a wild card spot, but they, they want to try to win, I'm sure. They're not mathematically eliminated just yet. And uh, the late game, the last game of the night, will be Tigers at Dodgers. Which, uh, Dodgers already have the division. Tigers really have nothing to play for except Maybe trying to spoil the die. What, what could what can what can my Dodgers do? Could they still get the best record? I guess they're four games behind the Braves for the best record in baseball, or in the NL. But I think in baseball too. In baseball, which would mean home field advantage throughout the playoffs. So Dodgers still have still have something to play for. They gotta, they gotta try to get healthy and they gotta try to find some starting pitching. I think that's been sort of their, the rub for them. I guess the Braves are also cruising, so maybe tonight's not the night they're gonna gain, gain a game on the best record. So who's pitching tonight for, for, for my guys here? Oh, I think Caleb Ferguson is, is gonna be the, uh, the opener. And I think Ryan Pepio is going to start, uh, is going to do the bulk innings after that. So maybe another five or six innings would be nice. Ooh, look at this. Is this a case hit? Hidden gems, Grayson Rodriguez? Mm 
Giving collectors a challenge. The super limited hidden gems insert gets another run. Nice. Ding. Oh, hold on. I forgot my belt. There we go, Orioles, Mark Bissett with the O's gets the hidden gems, Grayson Rodriguez, and it looks like it might be a parallel too. So not only is this short printed, or maybe this is the way it looks, but it has that sort of speckly or mini diamondsy background, which looks sharp. I don't see a number on it though. Yeah, no, I haven't either. Do we have, do we have, do we have odds on this? A mini box? No, cardboardconnection.com just calls it the super limited hidden gems insert. Maybe later in the checklist. Right, so according to CardboardConnection.com, they say, let us know about any others. Odds not provided. There's an HG36, which is to be determined. HG Hidden Gems 37 is Machado. HG38 is Rafael Devers. HG39 is to be announced. And HG40 is Grayson Rodriguez, which we just pulled as well. So yeah, only five on the checklist and super limited. So there you go, Mark, congrats. We got a Jacob Melton speckle. It's a 259. It's 259? It's 299. And we've got a Ricardo Perez. Catcher autograph for Ed P. And the Phillies. Your oldest son took the jazz piece off his mag case that he got in a break and put it in his water bottle. We don't sell jazz piece stickers, I'm afraid. There's Tamar Johnson to 4.99 on the Ethan Salas base. I'm sure another uh, sticker will find its way into a future shipment of yours, though, Steve. There's Clark Elliott. Looks like he got into some breaks. Is it free advertising for us? What's what's your uh, what's your son's uh, what's his uh, what's his visibility rating? How often is he out in public? Is he you know? Is he not, is he often in a high visibility area with that water bottle? What's the placement of the sticker on the water bottle? All that counts. You know, if he's home most of the time and the water bottle never leaves the house, I guess it's good advertising for, for, the, for the target market, which is you. And you'd be like, oh yeah, Jaspies. I've been busy, I should check in. So I mean, that is free advertising, that's good advertising. Clark Alley for Tristan and the A's. And of course, advertising only works if we can convert that into uh, the sales. So, if... Uh, Yeah, so if someone points out that sticker, is he explaining? Is he doing this, the, uh, the job of the fan and explaining what Jaspies is all about? 
Oh, does he? Oh, okay. I like that then. Takes it to baseball and football practice. Talks to the parents about card breaks. Maybe points to a sticker on the water bottle. Stickers on the water bottle is a thing. Especially with the reusable metal ones. Or plastic ones. All right. We'll dig up some stickers then. That's worth it. Looks like work is being put in. Nice. Well, appreciate you guys. We always appreciate Team Herrick getting out of the action. Hopefully more monsters going your way. All right. Two boxes to go. The one that's open and that last one back there. Good luck, everybody. Fingers crossed. 407 out 499, Anthony Gutierrez. And I think now would be a good time, you know, sometimes when people are like, hey, come on, so-and-so, you know? When they say, come on, so-and-so, I feel like they do in the first box, like, listen, give it some time. I mean, we're only one box in. I think right around here is where you can start being like, all right, hobby gods, start, uh, let's start, start praying to the hobby gods now. Start shouting out some of the players you're looking for. There's a Corbin Carroll iconic insert and a Jacob Melton for the Astros. That'll be for Zach to 250. And there's Carlos De La Cruz. That's a nice one. That's gonna go to Ed and the Fightin' Phils, Ed and the Phillies. It's one of the bigger names in this uh, Bowman set. He's a uh, up and coming prospect. He's 6'8", 210. Big dude. Phillies minor league play of the month for July. Organization all-star in minor league baseball. Rises above wall to rob opposing home runs. That's pretty nice. Close out his breakout 2022 campaign at Double A Reading. Exit Velo is up to 112. Big dude. There you go, Phillies. The Brandon Maia for the Yankees, and a blue Brian Acuna, 23 out of 150. Ronald's brother, that's going to be for Sean Maddock and the Twins. Bigot Express Baseball. Bigot Express is a multi-sport. That filler is in the, uh, is in the football section. And that's a multi-sport. One spot gets you three teams. Football, baseball, basketball. And there's Ronald Hernandez, 102 out of 299. Speckle autograph for Miami. Stephen Carney with the fish. Oh, no worries. Yeah, on the, on the phone, sometimes it is harder to see the the website on a whole, it kind of shrinks it a little bit. All right, final box, final two autos plus parallels. Good luck, everybody. Um, I'm going to take my break after this, though. And then we'll go through. So there's actually a decent amount of orders coming in here from a number of people. Steve Locke putting in work, William putting in work, Steve, uh, Steve H, Brian, Bennett, Jeremy. So I don't know where they're placing orders, but I'll go through those orders. Right, maybe I'll actually go through the orders before I take my dinner break, just so we know what direction people are going in. And then hopefully that'll inspire you to get more spots or to get your first spot of the day if you haven't done so already. You can kind of follow the uh, follow the leaders, see what where, where they want to break. Now I realize that there's not a lot of quantity on the website, 
But what is on there, quality. And some pre-orders. You can pre-order Flawless Football that drops tomorrow. And you can pre-order Allen & Ginter Baseball. The latest Allen & Ginter Baseball drops on Friday. And we do have another case of this Bowman Chrome Baseball loaded up on the site. So we're working on break nine right now. Break 10 is, oh, is now in a filler. Break 10 is now um, in that Bowman Chrome Hobby Pack break. Same, same, same as, it, as we did with this one. So that's sold out. But just need to fill the filler. All right, we got Luis Torres, first of two. First of the final two autographs in the break. Luis Torres Bowman, first autograph, is gonna go to the Angels, Dennis with the Halos. Ooh, and we got a red, true red Samuel Munoz. One out of five. Let's go Dodgers. Mark Bissett with my Dodgers. Congrats, always nice to see a train whistle out of fives and under in these breaks. There you go, Mark. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Always good to get a train whistle on True Tuesdays. Emmanuel Bonilla, shimmer, not numbered. And the last autograph is a diamond bag, yellow, 15 out of 75, Ruben Santana. You better change the rules, baby. Jeff Gordon with the Diamondbacks. And we got a Roderick Arias, 006 out of 125. Really nice box here. Yankees, that's gonna be for Dan. And the last little bid, do we have any other parallel surprises here? Maybe not. No, maybe a refractor. Nice, Randy Arozarena. 138 out of 499. And that is that, my friends. Thanks for watching, thanks for breaking with us. That was Pick Your Team 9. Here's a quick little recap of the autos and other notable cards. Thanks everybody for making this happen. The, uh, that was pretty sweet too. Again, the next break is in a filler. So we just gotta sell out that Bowman Chrome pack, that hobby pack, and then we can uh, get that nice Bowman Ascension, nice relic. Nice stuff here, yeah. Fill up that filler pack, give away the remaining teams, and we can rip open another case of Bowman Chrome. I'm Joe for jazbeescaserakes.com. I'll see you next time for the next Bow Crow Break. Bye-bye.